question today, okay, one person noticed that, and it, it's to do with verbs, one person noticed that certain verbs add o and certain verbs add a, okay, on the end of them when we're conjugating them. Now the question is, when do we add o, when do we add a, okay? Now, this is all about verb conjugation, which is a terribly boring subject uh, for most people, but it's absolutely essential in Korean if you want to get past you know, the beginner stage of just memorizing expressions and you actually want to become conversational, be able to form your own sentences, speak in different tenses, then knowing this is absolutely essential. So the first thing I'm going to cover in this video is how it works. Okay, I'm going to show you the system uh, for regular verbs. Um, this doesn't cover every single verb in the language, but it covers a lot of them. Uh, I'm going to show you the system. Um, and then the last thing I'm going to show you is why it's so important. Okay? The system. To show this, I use what I call the clock theory. Uh, I don't really know why I call it that, because it's not a theory at all. Um, but that's what I called it a long time ago, and that's what I still call it today. The clock theory is easy to understand. It's easy to sit back and be like, okay, teacher, I get that. Uh, but it's not so easy to put into use. Okay? It takes time. It takes practice. Um, you know, and that part you're going to have to do on your own. Uh, but I'll give you the system, I'll show you exactly how it works, okay? So if we first think about what are the vowels in Korean, okay? Uh, this is what it all bases around, okay, is the vowels. Uh, the vowels, we have a, ah, and then on the sheet, okay, when you're learning to read, you have ya, which is this, the same one, only with a y sound on the front, okay? But we're not going to, we don't need those today, okay? It's just the base a ah, that we need, okay? We have a, ah, we have o, we have o, we have u, u, and e. Okay? And these are the six things we're looking for, okay? Uh, the regular verbs have six categories, and each of them relates to one of these vowels, okay? Now, if we take these and we arrange them, except for these two, these will be off to the side, but if we arrange these four kind of like a clock, okay? Where o, the old vowel, is pointing up, okay? That's kind of our 12 o'clock. The a vowel is pointing to the right, that's our 3 o'clock. The u and the o, okay? If we think of this as a clock, okay? 12, 3, 6, and 9. And then we have these two off to the side, okay? The way it works, okay? The question, the original question was some verbs bring in a, some verbs bring in o when they change, okay? And here's exactly how it is. What I call O verbs, okay, and that's verbs, and I'll show you in a second exactly what that means, but O verbs, okay, which are this category of verbs, and A verbs. These bring in the A, okay, and these are the only two that do, okay, so if you can remember that, then it shouldn't be too bad. The rest of them bring in the O, okay, these, this category and this category. This category and this category will all bring in the O, okay? So this is probably still not so clear to you what that means, but I'll show you right now. Okay, so I've left the clock down here uh, just so we can refer to it. So, first one I'm going to focus on is the 12 o'clock, the O verbs, okay? Uh, let's think of a few O verbs and I'll show, you, I'll show you exactly what that means, okay? The verb to look, to watch, to see, okay, is boda, okay? Depending on how far into your studies you are, you probably know that da, okay, just signifies it's a verb, okay, similar to, in English, our verbs, okay, to eat, to sleep, to jump, to run, to, okay, in their base form, their infinitive form, we have this to, okay? Well, in Korean, the equivalent of that is the da, okay? And almost always in Korean, when you're working with verbs, you drop the da and you work with what's left, okay, and we'll see that today. So looking at this, if we drop the da, what's the last vowel you see in that word? Okay? It's the o. Okay? We have the consonant, the bien, then we have the o. Okay? So this is what signifies it's an o verb. Okay? Let me give you some more examples. O da, to come. Okay? The last, drop the da, the last vowel you see is an o. Okay? Another one. Nolda, okay, to play, to hang out, okay? 
Although this ends in a consonant, the last vowel you see is an O, okay? So this is what puts it in the O category, okay? And all of the O verbs will conjugate the exact same way, okay? And now let's jump into that. Unfortunately, like I said, this is going to be simple to understand. It's going to be simple to look at and be like, okay, I get that. It's not going to be so easy to put into practice right away. It's going to take time, okay? Uh, this is actually one of the main focuses of the level two of the full online course. And we don't do this in one day. I introduce it in one day. We focus on over in one day, okay? We spend about six classes going over this and practicing and practicing and practicing and practicing because it takes time, it takes practice. So I'm gonna show you, within each category, okay, within the o verbs, the o, or sorry, the o verbs, the o verbs, okay, within all of them, which there are six, there's gonna be three categories, okay? Which again, makes more work for us. <clears throat> the first category is Verbs that end in a consonant, okay? So we're focusing right now on O verbs. So O verbs that end in a consonant, okay? okay? The second category is verbs that end in a vowel. And the third category, which is kind of a special category, uh, is verbs that end in a lien, okay? That end in that, that L, okay? So for O verbs, the example I'm going to use, okay, for verbs that end in a consonant is chota, okay? Uh, now this means to be good. It's actually an adjective in verb form. And if you're not sure what that means, okay, that's another video. Uh, feel free to leave a question underneath this video, okay? Uh, so chota, <clears throat> we can see the last vowel is an O ends in a consonant, okay, this H, the here, okay? The vowel, the verb, sorry, the verb I'm going to use, for example, here is boda, okay, to look, to see, to watch. And the verb I'm going to use for, okay, a verb that ends in a leo is nolda, 